Tomorrow is Thanksgiving Day, and since we're all going to be with family, I've decided to post this video a day early. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over every Thanksgiving Day football game. We have three to go over, so that's all I'm going to go over today. Usually, I would do my marquee matchups, but since we have three to go over, that's a lot. And it's close to Thanksgiving. I'm sure everyone's with family. I'm going to try to make this a quick video. <clears throat> Our first game for the Thanksgiving Day football games, we have the Bears at Lions. Matthew Stafford is not <clears throat> is not expected to be back, and even Jeff Driscoll could miss the game. I believe it's his hamstring that's injured right now. Um, there's no other word about it at this moment, but he could miss. The Bears' offense has, again, it's been really slow. The only reason they somewhat scored a lot last week, if you even consider 19 a lot, was because they were against the Giants, and the Giants' defense is not good. I know the Lions defense isn't good either, but divisional games, usually people play harder, and I don't think the Bears offense has much more to give. But with that, the Bears defense is still really good right now, and if the Bears are having to face the Lions' second string or even third string quarterback, they could. it's probably not going to be a pretty game. Uh, if, Jeff, if Jeff Driscoll is not able to play, the Lions will have to throw out their third string quarterback, undrafted rookie from Purdue. I David Burrow, I think his name is. Um, who knows how that's going to go. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say, no matter who plays for the Lions, if Stafford somehow plays, if Driscoll plays, if the undrafted rookie plays, I'm going to say the Lions win. <clears throat> that's just how low I am on this Bears offense. That I don't think they can keep up with anybody right now. Of course, they kid up with the Giants, but it's the Giants. I don't care right now. The Lions do still have an offense to an extent. They have uh, good wide receivers. Bo Scarball, he's been added to the running back group, and he's been pretty good in only two weeks. Um, I think the Lions will find a way to win at home on Thanksgiving Day. They lost last year on Thanksgiving Day. I think, and they've already lost to the... Bears this year. I think they just want to get a win under their belt. They want to prove something. So no matter who plays, I'm going to take the Lions to win 17-13. to Then we also have the Bills at the Cowboys. And in my last video, I said I'm done with the Cowboys. I don't believe in them. They can't beat good teams. So I'm going to take the Bills to win here. I'm going to say they win 20-17. to It's going to be a defensive matchup. Um... The Bills' offense isn't the greatest. Josh Allen's not the best of quarterbacks, but he can still make plays. And the Dallas' defense is up and down. It can be good. Sometimes it's not. You never know what's going to show up. Same with, um, or no, the Bills' defense is really good, actually. I think Jason Garrett might struggle to adjust in the game like he always does. Um, I, I just can't buy into the Cowboys anymore. They've faced three, four good teams. They lost to all of them. And they lost to the Jets. I'm done. Cowboys pretenders. Bills win 20 to 17. <clears throat> then we have the Saints at the Falcons. Um, these teams faced off two weeks ago, and the Falcons actually shut down the Saints' offense entirely. Um, I don't think that happens again. The Atlanta defense played good for two weeks, and then they played the Buccaneers this past week, and they kind of regressed. Winston, I believe, had three or four touchdowns against him. Chris Godwin had like 150 yards and two touchdowns. Their defense fell back. I don't know if it'll pick back up. I'm not, I'm not expecting it to. But since it is an individual matchup, I do think it'll still be a good game. I don't think the Falcons are going to just take a beating. Um, I'm going to say the Saints win 26-20. to 20. I do believe... I do believe the Falcons' defense will go back to kind of not being able to hold anybody. But the Falcons' offense will be able to keep this game close. They're in home. They're at home. They want to prove to everybody that what happened a few weeks ago wasn't a fluke, that they can beat the Saints again. But I don't think it. I don't think they will. I think it was a fluke. <clears throat> I, the Falcons are such a weird team. They've always had the potential to be really good. But ever since that... Super Bowl choke of 28-3. They just can't get it done. Injuries. They're just, they just, who knows what they are. Next 
<clears throat> next year with a good draft pick, they could be good. But Matt Ryan, another eight, another year older, who knows? It's going to be interesting to see. But yeah, like I said, Saints win 26-20. And I know this has been a real quick video, but I'm sure everyone's with family right now. Tomorrow's Turkey Day. Um, I just want to get a quick video out. Maybe you want to listen. Maybe you don't. I don't know. If you did listen and you like what you heard, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video to help me grow my channel. Thank you all for watching and happy Thanksgiving.